right, we're sitting here in the Cherokee, as you can tell by the headliner. Looks like it's about ready to fall in. Um, today, I'm going to show you guys how to make quick disconnects. Now, the reason why I've been running these for years um, is because these are cheap and they're a lot easier to take off. Now, if I have a Jeep with three inch lift, I do not run sway bars on the front at all. But anything about four inches or higher, you might want to run a sway bar because it gets a little wobbly and a little squirrely. And this will work on any Dana 30, a TJ, a JK, a, a Cherokee, uh, even t all kinds of other Jeeps, right? As long as it's a straight axle. And uh, what you're going to need is a couple washers, okay? I usually have three for each disconnect because I put two on one side, which you'll see here in a minute how I put them on. So you need a couple washers. So you're gonna need six washers and you're gonna need a clevis pin. Now I got 7 16 clevis pin. Now the reason why I didn't go with a half inch is because you gotta grind it down to fit tight. But the goal here is not to get them to fit tight because if you shove these in there, for one, they can rust and two, when you're out in the trail, there ain't level ground, all right? And it's hard to get a half inch out. A little bit of play won't hurt in these. They'll just make noise. So I'm just going to tell you right now, if you are a person that hates noise on their Jeep and don't like stuff clinking around, these disconnects are not for you because they will make noise and they will jingle. Um, the little bit of play in them will not wear the holes out and it will not do anything. It just, I don't notice the difference between the bolts and these, honestly. The sway bar works just the same. So you're going to need a 716 uh, clevis pin and you're going to need a... This is all they had, so I had to go with a three-quarter hitch pin clip. And uh, I bought all this stuff for under 10 bucks. So, let's go out here in front of the Dana 30 and go ahead and put them on. Like I said, if you've got a Cherokee, you're going to have to cut the bolts off and drill the holes out. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating this on a different Dana 30 that already has the holes drilled out. So, let's go out there and throw them in. As you can see, that's how they work. Like I put, like I said, I put two washers here, not to space it out or anything, but to get it a little bit tighter with the hole. But as you can see, I mean, it's it's pretty tight. And even though this might point down a little bit, it'll help this pin come out a lot easier when you go to take this pin out off road. So that's basically all you do to install those. It's super straightforward. Like I said, I've never had a problem with these. They do jink around a little bit. They jingle. Um, but they work really, really well. I don't notice a difference on the road at all. And they're super easy to put back on and uh, or and take off, you know, when you're off-roading. You're not out there screwing around. Like I said, the ones I got in my Cherokee, sometimes they get all binded up and they're just hard to put back together. And those cost about 100 bucks. And the way they're designed, it just, it just don't work as good as what I have on the other Jeep. So I tested this a lot for years. I've never had a problem with it. And uh, like I said, uh, if you run these, let me know in the comments below. If you want to try them, give them a try. Let me know what your experience is. But I use mine on road and off road, and it's done great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little tip. I'm Cherokee Ronnie. Stay dirty, my friends.